got such a, a flat head on this side and then this side is more rounded. Is that normal? Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a geek stationery haul. Um, geek is Wish. I think, I'm pretty sure they are one and the same as I've said before. Um, so I purchased all of these things before Christmas with the intention of getting back into my file facts and new year, new start, new things to you know keep me motivated. I have been using it, I just haven't been using this stuff because I wanted to haul it first and then life got in the way and I haven't made a video for ages. So I'm just gonna get straight into it. Oh, I also wanted to mention that all of these things were pay the postage only so for most of them the postage was like two pounds and then the item was free but if you actually go in to the main like search part of the stationery some of this stuff was one pound and one pound shipping so it wasn't really I thought I was getting a good deal but when you actually looked at things I wasn't because they were just, it was the same price regardless, if you know what I mean. I've, I've not explained that very well, have I? Oh, doesn't matter. Okay, so first thing, I did actually think that this was a really, really good buy. Got these um, Gudetama little page flags. Now, I thought I was just getting one pack, but I actually got five packs. Um, so I'm going to be giving a few of these away to somebody because I'm not going to use all of them but they are so cute and adorable. I also picked up some Co Rilakkuma um, stickers. These are really really cute. I'm sorry about the glur. I also got some Rilakkuma stickers and these are absolutely adorable. They're the um, ones where it's on like a clear background. Um, I love using these type of stickers in my file facts, um, so I'm made up with those. I also picked up some washi tape. I got this one with donuts on it and then this one with sushi on it, although I've decided this year that I'm not going to use washi tape um, just because it was making me plan out far too thick and I don't like removing the past months. I like having the whole year in my file facts. So it was just getting a bit crowded in previous years. So I don't know, I might use it because these are these are adorable. Um, maybe I can make an exception, we'll see. Then I picked up this little notebook thingy majiggy. Um, I really like this one because it has like a space at the top where you can put like the date on and I have quite a few of these and the reason I like them is because I use them as food diaries which I've kind of stopped doing over the last couple of months and um, I was getting back into it in January new year new me all that jazz and um, getting back on track with Slim and World and these are really really good for just carrying around and writing everything down and sinning all your food and all that jazz so yeah it says dream and explore now i picked this up and it is a weekly plan sticky memo pad and it just obviously goes from sunday to saturday and in the picture on the uh, geek website there these, this actually appeared a lot bigger than what it was. Not a lot bigger, but bigger than this. Um, but I was thinking that maybe I could use this to go on the dashboard as just like a quick jot down of something um, or a quick reminder thing. Um, so we'll make it work regardless of how diddy it is. And again, with the whole, it looked bigger on the website. Um, this is a sentimental circus little um, book thing with different um, notepads in it. And this again looked bigger 
on the website but do you know what it's small enough to just fit in your bag and you can write notes down if you don't want to have to carry you know a file facts around or anything like that I could just stick that in my bag and make shopping lists make notes so make it work make it work I decided to get these little stamp thingy magics uh, one is a cloud one is a kiss or mouth <laughs> and one is a heart just for a quick stamp add a bit of colour add a bit of cuteness to your page or whatnot or you could even you know decorate some of these birthday card envelopes I don't know I just thought they were really cute and they actually say cute stamp on them so they've got to be cute I also got these three fine liner Totoro pens um, except one of them came without a Totoro on but that doesn't matter because I'll just use these two first and then swap the lids over it's not a big deal and um, so one Totoro has an umbrella and one is with a no face mask and just so cute and I don't really use fine line as much but I thought I would give them a go um, and yeah for the price of them and um, it's Totoro so how can you not one about them. So back in my younger years when I was at school I used to love fountain pens. I absolutely loved them. I was that sad person that you know the um in cartridges and they used to have a little ball that pop when you think I used to once I'd finished with the cartridge sharpen it down to get the little ball out clean it and then I would have a collection of balls in the end of my fountain pen so it rattled when I wrote I know um I was one of those kids so I picked up I picked up well I didn't pick I ordered it is this fountain pen with um spare cartridges I don't actually know if these have the balls on the top but if they do best believe I will be sharpening them down getting them out and putting them in the end of my fountain pen and then this apparently is a ink remover ink remover eraser um i don't know whether it works yet but i will give it a go yeah did you ever remember those fountain pen eraser pens where it was like a white tip on the end and blue on the other and you'd erase it and if you didn't let it dry properly you then went over it with the other pen it just bled everywhere and it just looked disgusting you may as well have just crossed out your original mistake rather than have that mess on your page i wonder if it's going to be like that oh i wonder if i can go back over it once i've erased oh i don't know i'll give it a whirl see and the final thing that i bought from geek were just these little scissors so you just take the lid off and they become scissors how cute are they i just thought they were so perfect for like putting in your pencil case or your crafting bag or whatever and just having a little pair of scissors you could even stick those in your handbag and the lid's pretty sturdy that's not going to come off without you taking it off so you've got a pair of scissors neatly tucked away oh, i just think they're perfect i love them i know i'm sad i'm sorry and the final thing is not actually from Geek, it's from Poundland, but I thought I would show it because I'm really impressed with it. I'm easily impressed, to be fair. But anyway, it is this adhesive pattern fabric, and it's just these different squares of, well, squares of different fabric. And there's like a guide on the back, sorry about the glare, um, that shows you how to make an owl using the different, you know, patterns and whatnot. I thought that was really, really cute and I might give the owl a little go and make some inserts for my file facts. So I just thought I would mention that because it was only a pound. I love some of the craft crafting things that you can get from Poundland, I think it it's great. Um, so yeah, that's everything for this haul. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then please subscribe. Bye!